In this pipeline tutorial, we will do some 3D painting in Photoshop after bringing the character in from iClone. First, you need to export a body part from iClone. In this case, we want to work with Dylan and give him a facial makeover. So we remove the hair to better see our results later on. Then, we save Dylan as a new customized character and drag him into 3D Exchange 4. There, we will select the face and export the mesh as an OBJ file as well as the texture maps. Once inside Photoshop, we will create a new file and create a 3D layer by selecting the 3D tab, New Layer from 3D File, and choosing Dylan's saved OBJ face. One thing to mention is that not many people know that you can now do 3D paint in Photoshop. Here, I will just examine the face with the navigation tools to make sure everything is in order. You may also open the map image in a new document window in order to work on both the 3D model and the map image at the same time. Next, you can start painting on your model. On 3D models, you can use brush, erase, blur, and smudge, just like you were working on a 2D image. You can also change the 3D paint falloff setting to define how the brush will work on the model in respect to the surface normals. Just reset the defaults and change the minimum angle to 30 and the max angle to 90. As you are painting, you may paint on either the 3D image or the 2D window. If you ask me, it's actually easier to paint on the 2D window. Next, I start to manually add my design. That demon kind of looks familiar, huh? If it does, then you were probably born before 1973.
make things symmetrical, I'm going to take that same effect and flip it 90 degrees counterclockwise for the left side of the face. Here, I am also going to stamp on a pattern to further customize. Once you are done, just save the modified texture map and go back to 3D Exchange 4. Inside 3D Exchange 4, just replace the facial map and examine the results.